So you're going to love this story. So there was a promotion guy. His name was Reg Reg. He was, after I did like all the office stuff, so I was the front, when you came into the office, I was, I was basically the front door receptionist. I was the receptionist. I handled all the office stuff and everything um, for, for the whole, uh, a whole uh, all the executives that worked there, which made me learn all the paperwork and things like that, which was cool. But the, the thing that took me to the next level was there was a guy, Reg Reg. To me, Reg Reg was the coolest guy. He was the guy going to see Funkmaster Flex at the radio station on Saturday night. He was a guy going to the tunnel to talk to Big Cap. He was a guy talking to all the big DJs around the country. And I was like, I want to be him. So once I learned what he did, and then he started going on the road to like Philly, D.C., Virginia, uh, uh, and then up to like Boston and, you know, that whole little Northeast run we used to do mm -hmm. later on. I just told him, I said, hey, listen, let me do you a favor. Can I drive you? You know, you got the van. I'll just drive you. And if I drive you, you don't have to do nothing. I'll do everything else. And he allowed me to drive him. And when he allowed me to drive him, I got to meet all the DJs on the road, you know? I mean, I was respectful, but I have a big personality, but I got to meet all them guys. Like, we got to meet all the funk master flexes up and down the country. Mm -hmm. um, and then how I started to make my money was Jessica Rosenblum at that time had this guy, Big Cap. God bless the dead, he died, Big Cap, but he was a good friend of ours, you know that. Yeah. And what people didn't realize was Big Cap was one of the most influential figures, not a DJ, figures in hip hop to break so much music. Every, all, a lot of the music that you heard Funkmaster Flex play or DJ Enough or Hot 97 even at, it was Big Cap. Big Cap had a two hour window at the tunnel. He had to be there from 10 to 12. So Jessica, once I met Big Cap and I was driving Reg everywhere, I would take Big Cap and became sort of a pseudo manager where I would book him for parties up and down the East Coast. But she said, no problem. You got to split the money with me, one. And two, his ass got to be back at the tunnel every night at 10 o'clock for his opening Sunday set. Night. Sunday night. Which was ritual. So I said, Jessica, if you let me take him one time and I get him back at 10, cool. She's like, you can do it. I said, all right. I got him back at 10. He smoked 8,000 blunts of the worst weed you ever <laughs> smelled. You remember Big Cap? Yeah. He used to have, he had these glasses, right? They were so thick and there was beepers back then. His shit used to be scratched up, the Chanel glasses. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they were so big bottle caps and he would have this beeper because Jessica would start beeping him at eight o'clock to see where he was. And he'd be rolling that blunt, looking at the beeper. <laughs> and he just became like my best friend, you know? And when he became my best friend, he helped me break a lot of records in that two hours, man. Wow. Um, you know, I love your story so far because number one, just going back, you, you know, you go on these interviews with your, your, your ex-girlfriend at the time, mm -hmm. but you were able to spot opportunity just listening to Andre Arell and Jimmy Love mm -hmm. over at Lehman, like you need to get an internship, get your foot in the door. Mm -hmm. So here you go in and you're able to recognize, you know what, I'm here doing these interviews, I'm at a label, let me take advantage of opportunities. Yep. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. And then number two, you know, being with Reg Reg, you again, put your ego to the side. You're going on the road. I want to meet the people who you're meeting. Yep. So let me drive you. Yep. I'm humble enough to do whatever it takes. Sweep the floor, whatever. wash the dishes, whatever. I'll drive. But it puts you in a position now to be close to somebody who's hot and who's moving reg, reg. Yep. But also get on the road and meet people who can help change your life in the future. Yep. So have you been always a person who have recognized opportunities and took advantage of it? I am 1,000% an opportunist. <laughs> <laughs>